Hi, welcome to Legendary Minutes. Uh, as you probably know, we have a uh, Legends game of football coming up here in Bort on the 3rd of May. Uh, it's been pretty well advertised on Facebook and on uh, the internet. If you'd like to jump on Google and go to BortLegendsGames.com, you will find it, and similarly on Facebook. So what I shall be doing over the next few months is order is uh, interviewing a few of our um, local legends and former champions etc uh, for the program. Now we're sponsored by Foxtel and this show will be on uh, AFL 360 during the year I'd like to believe. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> <laughs> All right so just a little bit about myself before I get to my star uh, witness here. Most of you will probably know me I'd be surprised if you don't. Uh, David Rees is my name. I'm currently a trainer with the Board Football Club and have had a few roles over the years. Um, in my playing days, I uh, wore number 26. A famous one. Yep, played uh, full back and was famous for wearing uh, headbands and making inappropriate comments uh, during and after the games. All right, without further ado, I'll hand over to my guest here. I've got a series of questions. First of all, I'd like to introduce my guest here, who you, I'm sure all of you will know. Uh, it's no surprise that we've got a genuine legend to start the ball rolling. Uh, it's Graham Stretter, the artist formerly known as Billy. Uh, now, Billy, as far as I can remember, won three best and fairest for Bort, played in the Premiership side, which not many people who played from Bort could, uh, can say that. Uh, he also covered himself in glory on many football trips, famously <laughs> going to Launceston and not going to bed for the entire uh, three or four days. Yeah, we're getting and I do remember the, uh, the Adelaide trip where several of us, including uh, Billy here, have got a arrest warrants on our heads as we speak. <laughs> okay. All right. I can't remember that, David. <laughs> 1985, that one oh, was. God. Uh, All right. So I'll hand over to Graham now with some questions. And uh, the first question we have is the years that you played at Port. Well, I did a bit of reconnaissance on this, Rosie, so I worked out it was about uh, 23 years in total. So about six of those were in the juniors. I don't know, I started in grade five, I think I was 10 years old, whatever that was, and um, had 16 years in the seniors. And I did take off for a year and went to Kundrook. So that was good fun, met a few people over there. Um, Probably, I'm, I'm still glad I did it, but uh, it's been a year in Kundrup, but 16 years at, at Bort and finished in Bort. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've got here numbers worn. Uh, numbers? Many, yeah. yeah. All right. Numbers I'll worn for Bort. Back for Bort. Uh, well, the juniors, junior years, when I, when I was in the footy, I suppose, started, the old black and white telly at Ivan Passy's was... Uh, Number five for Sid Jackson. So I started in the under 14s and number five was good old Carlton player Sid. I mean, he's still going or not, though? Yeah, he's still alive. He's, he's still yeah. going. So, yeah. so I started with that and uh, when I started seeing I got the number 40. Uh, wore that for a fair while and uh, finished them on number 15, which was uh, wages old number, as I remember it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure who's got it there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now. In the time that you're at Spennetport, your uh, your best coach. Best coach. Um, well, I've had a few coaches, obviously, uh, over those years. But you look at it, Louis Southcombe in the '80s era. Um, mm -hmm. Louis, as far as his fitness, you know, he, he had a back, back then. Tactics, just his general knowledge. He, he was a great coach. Um, and we used to have. I don't know, one, one, one night I think we counted 75 people on the ground. Mm. Oh, this is at training, so I think not on, the, not on the game day, obviously. But uh, there were 75 at training, and uh, I remember Lindsay Raster Slang out there <laughs> trying to kill everyone, trying to get a game. And, and Rast, no, nah, he was great, but... I think he soon had have the Vaseline on his eyebrows <laughs> at training, didn't he? The old days. He did. Uh, but, no, nah, look, it was... We were that fit then, and you know, that brought results being so fit. Billy Matthews, I don't know if he's still around with us, but uh, he had us fairly, fairly fit, and, and that's the reason we got through. But as far as, as, as a passionate, committed, and just you know, heartfelt 
just loyalty or love of the game, I'll, I'll never go past Eddie Ellison. So, old Ed, we bless you, Ed, but um, yeah, no, he brings great memories. And he you know, Ed, Ed was, Ed was a terrific fellow for the yep. uh, footy club. Yep. I'm yes, surprised there, yeah, Graham, that you didn't mention your old uh, principal, Alan Green. I remember him training us down at the cow patch and That's right. <laughs> inspiring yeah. us all. Yeah, well, that's the board footy club. That's the board too long, All right, now, uh, your favourite position. And this is on the football ground. Oh, okay, here. right. Okay, I'll have to think about that then. Um, well, most of my time, started on the wing of the seniors, I think, by memory. When I was when in the juniors, I was I was still fairly small, so I did a lot of bit of roving there. But um, centre and ruck roving was basically the, the on ball. They call it now. Oh, build, they build up on ball. That's it. That's it. That's Everybody's on ball. Right. I think so. There's 18 of them on the ball, I think, at the moment. I never ran like that. <laughs> yeah. All right, now, the best memory of your time at the Board Football Club? The best memory? Uh, well, you mentioned before, Reezy, that uh, grand finals, there's, there's few and far between, probably, for the Board Footy Club to a, to a certain extent, but we've we're always been amongst it and, and, and having a crack. But uh, as far as me, grand finals, oh, I just, no, they, I didn't like them. Uh, Nerves? No, I don't know what pressure. Like. 81, I can't even remember playing, so, yep. so that, that's the we'll wipe that one. 82 is probably the worst worst game I've ever played. Yep. And 89, I think it was, I had broken ribs and bumps of one and didn't even see the game out. Mm. Um, Tookie, old mate Tookie, he got belted in the head and by, by Hindy, old mate Edson. Mm. Not mentioned, so. Yeah. Uh, but Yes, that was generally a sad day for the football club, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. We <laughs> came home with our thumb between our legs that day. <laughs> wasn't that close? Right. But. Um, but, but the memories to me with footy, to the board footy club, we, we used to have the training nights and um, I don't know, for the young ones there now, we, the, the room wasn't as big and long as what it was and the, the, uh, the bar set up and that's down the other end wasn't as it is, but uh, we had a little kitchen behind the training rooms. Peter Anderson, and I had a fridge there, she was the old, um, what do you call it? Honest box. Yeah, yeah. We'd open that up after training and, and sit down there to God knows when and drain down those fridge and there's things out the back <laughs> cooking up the, the barbie. Yeah, there's and Ned and, and, and porridge and all the characters. So uh, but that that was great times and that, that's when you got to meet and, and know the, the the players coming through. But but to beat that and to top all that I think the the, the best memory of it. I don't even call it best memories, the funniest memories about it and the, and the good times is, is uh, you never forget the, the Les Dalla, Megzi Dalla on the crown and, crown and anchor <laughs> table. Yes. And Burridge yeah, set him up know. with various <laughs> sorts of things, but uh, yeah, that was funny. You had yeah. Teddy Baker, yeah. spindling off other yeah. stuff, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take it over the Megzi Dalla yeah. and, and the Great Andrews old uh, club up. names there. <laughs> and, uh, those that don't remember um, Ted Baker, that's where the old saying Baker came from. <laughs> if you do remember him, you'll know why, because he was well and truly Baker. <laughs> He's a great old fella, Ted. Uh, now, Bill, best player seen at Boyd? Obviously, you couldn't play in front of the mirror, so you didn't see yourself play. So, who were the... I wouldn't put myself there, but... Um, oh, if we go back to the to 81, 82, um, you had yes, Tony South and Bluey, Bestie, you know, Phil Nico was, was um, to me, Phil, good fella, good player, but, you know, and, and um, Tony Bordel went with him, but we sort of looked a bit more local, I suppose, Barney Libby, Barney Livingston, yeah, right, every fine. time he'd get a mark or a kick or whatever, he'd, he'd kick a goal post solo for you, if he was 10 yards there, it'd be post solo, if he was 50 yards there, but, but Barney was good, the, the, Ragsy girl, Ragsy just, Forever there, didn't star, jump and scream, but he, he was just so consistently good, solid player. Yeah, yeah. solid in the back. Jimmy Canfield, for old Jimmy, I was him the Feeney Middle. He actually, he, he stood about six foot taller when, when Jimmy was behind you because he knew he'd look after him. He, he did that one moment, tossed him the Feeney Middle. But uh, well on Jimmy. And Frankie McGrath. Who, forget, who, forget, who could forget those white boots? The white he boots, bought yes. them on. He, he used to dance around like yeah, that. Yeah, no, he, he was ahead of his time, the young Frank. There's <laughs> no doubt about that. They're all wearing white boots now on TV. <laughs> yeah, so exactly. I think Frank started it. Yeah, he was 30 years ahead of his yeah. time. He used to gallop around like a big stallion. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. No, Frank, he was, pretty, he, was, he was built like a tank. Peter Hines, he was amongst it. Hines, you'd, you'd, you'd ruck rope or rope to him. 
He'd say, just get out the side there and bang. <laughs> That's it. You'd, you'd rope it in from the wing. Local talents, Ashburn, um, he was sort of, and I was getting older, he was just coming in. Ash, Ash is a great player, um, went on to, to, to succeed in coaching a lot more things. Of course, you got our, our probably most loyal and um, uh, decorated youngster, youngster, was a youngster, Plugger Perry, Mark Perriman. I remember he was a real little smart after training one night, but uh, <laughs> good no, as Plugger Perry, Perry yeah. you'll ever see. Yeah. Another wrong with Plugger. But in all that, who I played with and who I think of, uh, the, the absolute ball magnet for me was uh, Foxy Miller. Yeah. Consistent hey. week in, week out. Oh, oh Foxy. I he agree with you there. 40 every, yeah. every He's night. my uh, number one board player that I saw sort of play. Always with a smile on yeah. yeah, and a great bloke as well. All right, Bill, to wind it up, we've got an extra question for you. Um, your most memorable character you, um, character you had dealings with at the board football club in your time. Uh, well, there's been some characters, but uh, who could forget if they're around? Peter Femby. Peter Femby, yes. Oh, uh, Fem. He used to keep me in pocket money, actually, because uh, everything he'd break on the weekend, the footy club would ask him to go and fix, and uh, they'd have to pick me up for it. Mm. So, so good on your Fem for yeah. that. I don't know where he is now, David. No, could possibly be in J- Barwon <laughs> Prison, for all we know, but... Um, uh, yes, who will ever forget the day that he uh, he flopped the old fellow out against Donald here at Port and several of us were taken in the, into duties to escort him from the field. It was the most bizarre thing I've ever seen in my football time and yeah. um, certainly uh, has been relived many times since. Yeah, well, no doubt about it. Pete was a, an absolute classic. A gentleman at times. <laughs> <laughs> a lunatic at other times. But good on your bed. All right. I think we'll wind it up with that with memories of Peter Femby. Thank you, Bill, for your time. All right. And we'll see you next time. Cheers.